In this demo, we will show how to connect an MBUS measuring device and an industrial network. To do this, we're using an Anybus communicator from HMS paired with an MBUS converter from TechBase. In this example, we will configure the Anybus communicator to handle communication between an energy meter from ABB and a Profibus network. But the configuration works similarly for other MBUS devices and industrial networks as well. I have downloaded the Anybus Configuration Manager from anybus.com and installed it on my computer. I first need to select the network that I want to connect to, so I select Profibus DP. I take a look at the communicator settings and can see that these are all in order. We want to use master mode since the communicator acts as master on this subnetwork. In our subnetwork, we want to specify the baud rate. We set this to 1200. The parity should be even, and the message delimiter should be set to 50 milliseconds, 5 times 10. We now move on to create our first transaction, which is the command to start the energy meter. To do this, I right click and select Add Transactions. I name this transaction initialization of slave. In the query to the energy meter, I set the update mode to change of state on trigger, so that the PLC on the Profibus side decides when it's time to initiate the slave. We set the trigger byte to address 200. If I open the subnetwork monitor, I can see that this is the first byte in our out area. I then create the telegram itself, which is to initiate the slave. We add a byte and call this short frame start byte with a hexadecimal value of 10. I also set the value to 10. I insert a byte, which is the C field for the MBUS telegram. I set this to 40, which is the value for the command initialization of slave. Next, I add a slave address, which is 1. and then a checksum which starts with byte 1 and has an error check type which is ADD. This stands for addition. At the end we add a final byte, a stop character which has the hexadecimal value 16. I then move on to the response from the energy meter. First I add a trigger byte so that we know that we have received an answer. I put this on byte address 0. I open the subnetwork monitor to see that this has been registered in the first byte of our IN area. The response from the energy meter is a byte with the value E5. This means that the slave has been initiated. Consequently, we name this byte single character response with a hexadecimal value of E5. I am now finished with the transaction for initializing the slave and can move on to create a transaction for reading the actual values from the energy meter. I create a transaction and name this read multi telegram. I change the update mode to change of state on trigger, just as I did in the query to initialize the slave. I also change the trigger byte address to 201. By looking at the subnetwork monitor, I can see that we now have a second trigger byte on address 201. Just as I did in the initialization transaction, I now add a short frame start with a value 10 and a C field which I name request for class 2 data. I set this value to 4B, which means that I tell the energy meter to send all telegrams of class 2. I set the slave address to 1 and then create a checksum with the error check start byte 1. I also change the error check type to ADD. Finally, I add a stop character which is 16. The last thing I need to do is to configure the response from the energy meter. 
I enable a trigger byte and set this to address 1. I can see this in the sub-network monitor. I add a variable data object, which I put on data location 2. This is the multi-telegram response of class 2 data from the energy meter, which will be routed to the Profibus network. I note that the maximum data size of the response will be 112 bytes long, 70 if we count hexadecimal. I therefore set the data length to 70. I enable the fill unused bytes to fill them with zeros as filler value. Thereafter, I set the object delimiter to length character. This will set the number of received bytes in the first byte of the data to the Profibus network response. I go back to the sub-network monitor, where I can see my trigger bytes in green and my response bytes in yellow. I click Connect and then download the configuration to the Anibus communicator. I have now enabled communication between the MBUS energy meter and the industrial network, in this case Profibus.